Hey everyone, it's Dennis Wood here. Today we're going to be talking about lighting as it applies to this 2018 Nissan Leaf SL, which has LED lights. Uh, this happens to be car two of the two that we own. And I noticed uh, driving this, my daughter primarily drives this, is the headlights were mysteriously aimed super low. As in on the highway, you could actually see a cutoff line literally out in front of the car. Um, now, our other 2018 Leaf, which, and I've never touched the headlights before, actually is fine. Nobody blinks high beams, everything's good. The lighting actually seems quite good. I think the lights in the SL, the LED lights on this car are actually quite good, but they're not very good if they're aimed down. So let's talk about that today, how to aim them. We're also gonna add some auxiliary lighting, uh, namely the fog lights on this car, which are pretty awful. So let's get to it. All right, so we've uh, lifted up the hood and uh, the good news is that aiming these lights is probably the easiest thing you'll ever do on a leaf, specifically because this eight millimeter uh, bolt right here is all you need. Now, uh, it's important to note that um, I did measure um, off leaf number one. Um, I measured the height. You can see the cutoff is very definite. And just to give you an idea, these lights were aimed somewhere down here. Um, the net effect of that when you're driving is it looked like literally 15 out in, or 50 feet out in front of the car there was a light cut off and they were horrible on the highway. So um, it's kind of a big safety tip. This line right here I drew uh, on, on the uh, the other 2018 Leaf. It's uh, pretty much 30 inches off the ground. As you can see, the car, the headlight itself is uh, about 50 inches away. Um, again, probably more accurate if you're farther away, but I have a pretty small shop. And then keep in mind, I took this reference from a leaf that uh, was not causing any complaints and where I think the lighting is really good. And uh, the bottom of the, or the line is about 30 inches up and you can see the cutoff is about 30 inches up. And guess what? If you measure at the light, you'll see that the top of the low beam is almost precisely 30 inches. So we have, you know, um, pretty much level lighting. And when you put the brights on, we'll throw it on to, sh to see what you, so you can see what it looks like. The brights only come up a little bit higher, but they're obviously much brighter. So just reflecting off the wall here, uh, easy to tell. So, and adjusting, you can see here, see how quickly that light comes up. That's probably like about level, but we're aiming them just a bit low so that nobody, again, so that nobody complains um, about having low beams in their face. Uh, you see a lot of LED, lights on new cars these days where the uh, the lights are aimed up too high and you're get, you, you really are getting blasted on low beams. So that's it. Eight millimeter, eight millimeter bolt up and down about 30 inches is a good place to start uh, for a reference. So now uh, let's go on to part two. All right, so part two of, of our lighting project today now that we have the lights aimed is uh, to upgrade the fog lights, which on this car are pretty bad. And I'll grab you a before shot. Uh, we'll just step outside of the garage. It is winter out there, so, uh, but we'll get kind of a reference shot. Uh, basically the OEM fog lights in this car are pretty useless. Okay, so these particular lights are the Alla Lighting 2800 Lumen H8 6500K Cool Xenon White. I'll put a link in the description. Um, but I've used these lights on the other car uh, for a uh, couple years now. Uh, we're gonna install them in here. It's actually a pretty quick and easy job. Uh, it drastically improves the lighting um, when you're using the fog lamps or the, I don't know, low level lamps. I often just keep them turned on so that uh, when the dims are on and the car is in auto headlight mode most of the time, the, those lower lights are on almost all the time. Again, no complaints, no, nobody flashing their brights at me, but they make a big difference uh, and how much you can see to the right and the left versus the OEM of the car. Uh, even driving on, you know, with your uh, low beam headlights and at night, uh, they do make a big difference. So this is one lighting upgrade uh, that I recommend. Again, the 2018 LED lights on the uh, Leaf SL are excellent. They're, uh, as you can see, finely defined. The brights are super bright, uh, no complaints. The fog lamps, however, are not good. So let's replace them. So again, here are the stock fog lights taken inside the shop, and we'll do another shot outside. All right, there's a reference shot with the stock lights before we switch them out. All right, so the good news is um, the lamp is hiding up here, but it's actually pretty easy to get to with the car either up 
again, safely on jack stands or in this case up on the hoist. And uh, you're just gonna wanna take one, two, three, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts out. So we'll do that. And then you should be able to pop down this corner sufficiently to get in there. So. There's a clip up there. There's one bolt. There's two. And let's do the third. And then you can actually pull this down <laughs> sufficiently to get in there. So we'll grab this from another angle so you can see. Um, maybe we'll take one more bolt off this one right here. Let's grab that out. So we'll make the four 10 millimeter bolts. Again, a little easier to do if the car is not outside in the snow, which this one is, which is not super cool. Actually, that's also the wrong bolt. There's a little flap here, by the way. These bolts just go, there's three bolts behind it. None of them, uh, you don't need to take out any of them. This one will just give us a little more wiggle room on the fender here, this last one, to uh, pull this chassis shield down just a bit. Now let's see. Yeah, it's a, it's a wet mess under here. Winter is not ideal, obviously, for working on cars. We get salt and snow. All the, all the best of it here. That is a longer bolt, so it's good to keep track of that one. That is the longest of the three. And that should give us, yeah, you can actually just kind of pull this down like so. Uh, we're not going to break it. Again, I wouldn't do this when it's minus 30 because you probably end up breaking this plastic, but uh, that's all we need to do. So we'll have a look at where we need to get to here. All right, so I have pulled back this shield you can see i'm just holding it down and i've locked focused up there but that black plug is what we're going to undo and then uh, we'll just give that light uh i believe it's a half turn rotation and we'll pull it out so let's go ahead and do that once it when it's out there it'll make a little more sense okay i just wanted to show you uh it's a lot easier to deal with this lamp um if you just give it a half rotation so grab onto the harness, give it a half rotation. It'll come out of the housing and you see there's the lamp in question. And uh, it's a lot easier to deal with this harness because there's just a little tab right there that we got to pull. So uh, now we're probably going to lose our light. There's our light. And just for clarification here, this little tab right here, you actually have to pry it up, not push in. So it's a pry up. And you can see the harness there. It's easy peasy. Now, uh, putting in the light, you want to be a little more careful not to touch it. Nope. But they are a lot brighter lights. You can see the LEDs. I like these ones because they have a little band around the outside and they have a, a center uh, lens, uh, which I think is what makes them uh, give you the illumination and a little bit of projection forward. And uh, it's easy peasy. You can see these tabs. These are what lock. Um, so when you twist it, you just have to give it like a third of a rotation and it will release from the housing. Um, and then putting the, you know, easiest upgrade ever. So we'll just set this down. You can see I'm getting a little wet under here. Good times. We'll go ahead and just grab that harness, which is sitting right here. You can only go one way in. There is a little tab that prevents you from doing it backwards. Push it in, snap. And then we're gonna reach up there and uh, Fisher back in, uh, almost easier to do this blind, honestly, but it is in there. And again, just a third of a rotation and that's it. It's in there. So we'll rinse and repeat on the other side and we'll call it uh, done. Put some, uh, don't forget your four bolts and, uh, 
and we're good to go. So we'll do this on the other side and then we will um, take a comparative look. I just wanted to compare these two. You can see um, the LED's got a bit of a bigger body, same fit, uh, but I lied. Um, it looks like these are 70, the LED light is a 76 watt light and the Osram is looks to be a 35 watt light. So this is gonna be a heck of a lot brighter. All right, just a little note here. You're gonna take a one, two, three, four bolts. They're different lengths. So keep track of them when you take them out. Otherwise you're gonna have trouble on reassembly. So we'll go ahead again, we're on the driver's side now. I'll go ahead and take this down and uh, go ahead and update that light. Okay, we have about the same uh, settings on the camera. Uh, that's just with the low beams now adjusted up and we'll just flip on these uh, lamps and you can see that it's a very different, uh, it's a much more general spread of light, which actually I find quite useful. Again, the light temperature is a little bit higher, but definitely closer to what the uh, OEM uh, LEDs are. So we'll go ahead and grab this shot from the outside and we'll get a good idea of uh, what the difference is. All right, there's a shot with the exact same settings that we did previously. Uh, shutter was at 1500 ISO 200 and you can see the difference there quite a bit more brilliant down there and again hard to describe but if you're driving at night they are far better well there you go a review of light aiming and an upgrade for the driving lamps both are very much safety issues in my opinion particularly the headlight aiming uh, OEM fog lights aren't gonna probably make a huge difference but I will say that the LED lights that I'm using give you a much wider uh, illumination on the road, particularly the shoulders when you're on your dims. These cars, uh, and many like them, have automatic high beam, low beam switchover if you're in that auto mode, as we often are. Um, so on the highway, you're very frequently going from brights to dims. And the lamps, if they're left on, will illuminate on dim, and they'll give you a much better illumination on the shoulder. In this area, uh, deer, moose, bear, moose being the most dangerous, are things that we really uh, have to look out for, particularly at night. So anything that gives you a little more uh, illumination along the shoulder may actually save your life. Uh, as far as the aiming goes, I think it's really important to check. Again, 30 inches is kind of a ballpark uh, to start at, and I wouldn't aim them higher because people will be uh, irritated and flashing you on the road. So there you go. Hope you found that helpful. Just a big thanks to everybody who did subscribe to this uh, humble channel. We're at uh, just over 400 subscribers. Thanks very much. Again, if you found this useful and you want to see more videos like it, please like and subscribe. Have a great day.